Hey guys, before I start this video, very quick message. I know that a uh, lot of you guys, after you have done watching the video, you still have some question unanswered or if you need a help with the admission process in this particular university for this particular course, I can definitely contribute on that side. What you have to do is simply go on to www.nikshala.com, book an appointment. Let's get on a call for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I'm pretty sure we will be able to answer all your questions. Alright guys, so I have Somia here with me to share her experience of how was her journey from India all the way here in the German University. She's studying directly English bachelor's right now. She didn't go through student college, she didn't go through Ofnama. I think you, you didn't even learn language. Yeah. You didn't? No. Okay. So, very interesting video for someone who wants to skip student colleague and wants direct admission into German University. But before we go ahead, Soumya, why don't you give us your introduction please? Sure. So, my name is Soumya and I come from Chandigarh. I did my 12th grade uh, from Chandigarh with grade uh, 93% and I did first year of my BCom from Chandigarh itself and I scored there um, aggregate of 70%. And since when are you here in Germany? Um, I'm here from September 2019 and uh, I've been studying here bachelor's in international business. Um, it's, Which uh, university? Uh, in uh, Hochschul von Reinsen. Okay. And that's my university here and it's purely 100% English course. So my first question for you, we're just going to get right into the topic here. What are the documents I should get myself ready with? So the first document is the 10th mark sheet, then 12th mark sheet, then as I did my first year, so first semester mark sheet and second semester mark sheet. Okay. After that, I gave my IELTS exam. The minimum requirement here is generally 6.5 bands and I got uh, 7 bands so it was all okay. After IELTS, then I made my letter of recommendation and statement of purpose attested by my principal of the college. Okay. So that's all I need for all the process in the university. She applied for all in all eight colleges here, eight different universities. They are a mixed bunch of direct application via UniSS or direct application to university. So the ones which went through UniSS, uh, she had to go on the platform, pay the money and do the process. Whereas the colleges which were direct application, she just had to send the physical copies of them after filling out the application form. We'll get into that. First of all, you only talk about the colleges which went through UniSS application. Okay. okay. So the first one is FH Aachen. Okay. Then Hochschule Osnabrück. Then Martin Luther University Halle. Then is OVGO Magdeburg. Then Technische Hochschule Nuremberg, George Simon Ohm. And the last one is uh, Falk Hochschule Würzburg Shine Fruit. And uh, in this particular university, you also require six week internship. So these are all via UniSS. Yeah. Which were the ones you applied directly? The directly ones are Hochschule Born Reinsig, in which I'm particularly studying. Then is Degendorf Institute of Technology. So these were the only two ones. Okay. After applying, um, which all colleges did you get the admission? Uh, I got reply only from my university, that is Hochschule von Reinsig. Okay. I got off a letter from that particular And university. what are you studying? Bachelor's in what? Bachelor's in International Business. International yeah. Business. So what did you do after this, after collecting all the documents and all the list of colleges, what you mentioned? What did you do? Um, so basically, I applied in, as I applied in seven universities, I made seven copies of all the documents. The hard copies? Yeah, the hard copies. Okay, okay. So did you... So as she mentioned, she applied for total seven colleges, out of which uh, I think five, five were uh, three uniases. Uniases, So yeah. she made a f five copies of her documents, all of them attested, um, and sent it. She had sent to Uniassist office, which is in Berlin, uh, and then two universities which accepts application directly in their college. So she had sent them directly on their. Uh, college address, the university address, right? Yeah, and the uh, most important thing here is that all the documents should be signed by the notary. So mm -hmm. that's important. You did all of this, how long did it took for you to get a response from college? Uh, usually it takes six to eight weeks from the university. Six to eight weeks? Yeah. Okay. And you came here in 2019, October? Uh, September 21st. September 21st, yeah. 2019? 2019. Okay, so it's And just the classes were starting from 1st October. First the winter October. break. Okay, okay. How big is your class strength now? 
my class strength is approximately 45 students. 45 students. Yeah. So, Somnia, what I'm very curious to know is, uh, you know, a lot of students who come here, they come via student colleague learning a lot of language, clearing off grammar proofing and all of that. Didn't you feel like, oh my god, I'm going to have a hard time understanding the language or maybe settling down there? Uh, no, actually I was lucky in this case because I didn't did my student colleague. I directly got admission on 13 year basis. Like first, uh, the first year of my bachelor's was counted as the 13th year. Right. So I directly got admission in bachelor's. So I didn't yeah. did my student colleague and I find it very lucky that, oh gosh, <laughs> I okay. didn't have to do that. <laughs> right, right. So there is a, definitely there is a way that you can complete your first year and then continue your bachelor's from first year again in Germany, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't start from second year, it starts from first, first year. First year bachelor's. Right, right. A lot of people will tell you, don't leave your college, what you're doing, mm -hmm. right? They would always tell you like, why don't you go for master's? Even, uh, even my father said that, that right? complete your bachelor's, go for master's, but I was like, no, the degree here matters. Right. So I did. I just came here. But <laughs> well, I'm sure a lot of people would have told you like, don't do this, this is very risky. But no, but I just listened to myself and I decided to come here and do my bachelor's again. Right, so right. It's so, not easy. Uh, see, one of the good things about this process of her is you don't need to leave the studies. You can continue your studies and apply and see if you're getting the admission or not, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. If you're not getting the admission uh, into bachelor's here, you continue your second year and third year and complete, Yeah, exactly. Right? I was, in, I was continuing uh, the second year in my bachelor's when I got the offer letter from the, from Germany. So. Right, right. So ju uh, I just got the offer letter and applied and all. I just did all the stuff. So. And in September I came here. Right, right. And what is the cost involved into your three years of bachelor's now in Germany? Uh, it's just the semester fee. Every semester fee for my uh, course is 294 euros. 294 euros. Yeah. Okay. So and that's it, and no tuition fee, and right, just right. the living cost. Yeah. And you arranged your cost of living before coming here. Yeah, I had my blog to come uh, of uh, approximately ten thousand euros. Right. So that was all I needed. Right. And, and uh, plus health insurance. Plus for health insurance. Okay. Did you also arrange your second and third year of block account? Or? No, no. Just, just I have to show the first year block account. Right. right. What are you planning with the second year of block account? Is this your father is going to sponsor you or? No, I'll try my best to uh, sponsor me myself. I'll. Uh, I'm searching for job right now. Looking for job. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that. Through that, I'll be able to manage. Right, right. A lot of students do this. Uh, they there is a provision that you can work for 20 hours a week, um, especially uh, during when the college is on. But when the when there are vacations going on, you can work for 40 hours uh, during that time. So, yeah, uh, part-time job income can range depending on the kind of job what you're doing. I can't really tell you like this is the takeaway amount that you will take home, but it can range from anywhere between. 600 euros to 900, 1000 euros depending on the kind of job what you're doing and the hourly rate what you're getting. Um, so don't stress yourself out that you have to arrange blocked account for all three years already way before you start the process. It's not that you have to have 30,000 euros to begin the process. You can show the first year of blocked account, take the visa, come here and make sure that you work here uh, and get yourself ready for next year also. That also comes with a lot of risk. If your college is keeping you busy from morning to evening, <laughs> then you can't do a part-time job. So always have a backup plan with yourself, right? Uh, I mean, of course, when you're in trouble, not that your father is not, father is going to say, oh, I'm not going to help you. Yeah. He will help you, mm -hmm. right? So have something in the backup. See, the conclusion of today's video is that you complete your first year and you can come here uh, and continue your bachelor's here also. You do not need to leave your bachelor's when you're using this route, okay? Um, if she wouldn't have got admission when she applied, when she ended her first year, she would have continued her second year. Yeah, exactly. And third year, or probably completed her whole bachelor's in India, then would have looked for a master's program. But definitely, there is a way you can apply. She has an opportunity to work in a public university now, study, sorry, um, and it comes with a very minimum cost, and you get to experience country like Germany, learn the best of the best from the industry and from best people in the industry. What's your message before we say goodbye? 
um, nothing much. Just come here and explore Germany. It's really nice. Yeah. And studying here is then like really good opportunity for a student. So. Right. Alright guys, so that's all what we have to offer you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.